Well, there's a lot of folks happy to see Kyrie Irving back, and there's a lot of excitement about Kyrie Irving returning and what this group is going to look like. There's been a lot of debates about whether or not this trio can fit well together, but what does the coach think? That's something I asked Coach Steve Nash a little bit earlier. What is he most curious about with this group? And he said their ability to make each other better, and we all know that that comes with sacrifice. He also said that attitude and approach is just as important as the outcome of this game. He wants to see an enthusiasm and an excitement on the floor given the possibilities and what they can achieve together. Now, Kyrie Irving, again, missing the last seven games back in the lineup for the Brooklyn Nets as we take a look at this timeline. The first game that he missed, of course, was back on January 7th, missing it for personal reasons. Five days later, a video surfaced of a family birthday party that Kyrie Irving was a part of without a mask. Three days after that, he was fined $50,000 by the NBA for violating health and safety protocols. He was cleared the next day, but he remained out the next couple of games as they ramped him up and got him right as far as his conditioning is concerned, which leads us to today. This Nets team, as you pointed out, Nancy, looks very different than the last time Kyrie Irving was back there on the floor. And yesterday I asked him his reaction to the big trade. I'm very excited, you know, just to have James here. Um, obviously, letting go of some of the pieces that have been here in the Nets organization for a while, even before I got here, um, you know, it was going to be hard regardless. I mean, it's just the nature of the business. We're all brothers still, you know, so we're just moving on into the next phase of just developing as a team and just building some camaraderie, camaraderie and having fun. Can you shed some light on what the last couple of weeks have been like for you and the time you needed off? Um, it's a lot of family and personal stuff going on. So just want to leave it at that. Happy to be back. Happy to be around these guys. Address the team. Address everybody that need to be addressed. Now it's time to move on. Going back on the health and safety front. Happy to be back. It's been great. It's been enough support for me to, uh, you know, feel like they have my back. And, you know, that's all I can ask for. You know, to support not only me, but my family. You know, I'm a hometown kid. So, you know, things hit a little different when, um, you know, family or personal stuff going on, and that's up to me to handle that as a as a man. Um, but yeah, I just take full accountability for my absence with the guys, and you know, just had a conversation with each one of them, and we move on. Beautiful thing about that is that I started off as a fanatic, and I started off as a fan. I've been invested in this organization since I was a kid, you know, and also now that I'm in this role as a player, there is quite a difference. And, you know, the fans out there want to apologize to them as well. You know, my commitment has always been to bring in something special to Brooklyn. You know, it wasn't just a championship. It was unity, it was equality. It was just bigger things than just the game itself. You know, it took quite a while and quite a few um, valleys to get back home initially. You know, um, so for, for me, I'm just taking every day, you know, just being grateful, you know, um, but for the casual or the fanatic, you know, it's it's part of our culture. And, you know, I'm back. I'm happy to be back. And we got some great pieces and we just move on. And I let my actions and my game speak for itself like I planned on doing, you know, just needed a pause.